What's going on, Meta fam? We got an action packed freaking video for you here today, and I hope you're ready for it. So, baby, let's go. All right, so John Bird is out here, uh, getting back in the mix, getting out here on Twitter and tackling some of this, uh, tweeting going on. And there's been all this talk about now, I'm not trying to throw anyone under the bus here, but there's this talk about people and us accepting a settlement. But how can we accept the settlement when we don't know? The actual problem behind our U3 halt slash counterfeit shares. How can we even establish a price? How bad is the problem? So let's just go over this quick little thing here. So the securities attorney says, my only question is what metric is anyone using to value the shares at more than $2.90, basically the last trading price? Now, John Berta has replied to this. And I agree 100 freaking percent, which is what I said to this here, agreed 100 uh, percent. So John Berta has said, actually, let's zoom in on this because we really need to uh, make sure we get that nice and clear on here. All right. There we go. Perfect. Last trade is irrelevant, with the exception of those who lent out their shares. $2.90 is what they are due as per their margin contract. However, it is important to look at the time and sales as well as short sales, exempt short sales, and long purchases during the last couple of weeks of trading. Also, any shorts marked a long trade. Yes, this happens. It is my opinion that someone knew a halt was coming on the last day and shorted the stock down to $2.90 to limit their exposure. Look at the algo trading, bid and ask sizes and all the trading on the last day again by this time the occ memo was known so therefore the trading was more based on supply and demand versus the value of nbh keep in mind this was made to trade by the shorts not mmat if mmtlp never existed this would not be an issue we as holders of series a preferred deserve the facts and then let's and then let the facts speak for themselves to talk of a settlement without knowing the extent of the problem is a mistake in my opinion. I could not freaking agree anymore. There's all this talk about there about this settlement and people don't got skin in the game. We got freaking skin in the game and our money's been tied up for 150 days, 150 some days plus. So we wanna know the problem. We wanna get the blue sheet. We wanna know how big is the short position how big is the counterfeit position out there? And then we can start talking settlement. You know, do they hold 300 million counterfeit shares? Do they hold, you know, 800, 800 million counterfeit shares? We don't know. How bad is this? Guys, they drove the freaking stock down like crazy. And we're going to get into that here uh, very shortly. All right. So there's a little talk here um, between Paul T and Smokey. And just double checking here. It's all it was, guys. So give Smokey a break. This was just double checking and no better person to give us the facts than Mr. John Byrne himself about um, if NextBridge would authorize more shares. That was the question. Can they just authorize it or does it have to be a shareholder vote? And John Byrne replied back to this little question here going on and says, yes, a vote is required to increase authorized shares. So that is that guys. So. Uh, I believe the quick summary is if you're in AST, you can vote through AST and your shares are there. If you're in a broker, uh, you have to do your voting through the brokerage and then I guess they have to report it. But a vote would be very interesting right now because there's not supposed to be a, uh, what is it now? It's Greg McCabe got some, but we know the retail stuff, you know, it wasn't 165 and Greg McCabe's got some now. So that should be the number, I think it's like 200 some now. Uh, so if it came in like 800 million votes come rolling in, whoa, <laughs> could you imagine how that would be? Which is just nuts. All right. This here is a post that I think also fits in with the post of people saying, should we do, you know, arbitrate at 290? What price are we going off of? All right. Well, let's go off some prices that we know are facts. Well, how about that? Let's talk about some facts. No speculation. This here is facts. So let's go off of this. For context, FINRA began blue sheeting NMTLP the day uh, before on 12.5. That's right, guys. And we got the FOIA request out there to prove that. They began blue sheeting NMTLP uh, when the price was at $8.25. On 12.6, the high was $9.50. On 
On 12.7, it was 9.90. Somehow on 12.8, the high was only 6.15 and the low was 2.89. Only 14 million in volume, about 3x from the day prior, it's likely they knew, which I could not agree anymore. Now, this here was the post we covered in a video previously, a little bit back, about 4,000 a share. That's right. Uh, Winston here found this clip, and I believe it was from Dr. Stomp. And here he says, so he was, do he was doing some reflection back on old DD, and he found this video that a community member posted showing the level two data from the broker of MMTLP on December 6th, going into the 7th. I believe, so I dropped into an Excel spreadsheet to total up the shares needed to hit the sell orders. And down here we got uh, Dr. Stomp, and I believe that's my video, He still has, he's still holding his 8K shares. And yes, that is exactly um, what's going on. So let's look at the spreadsheet here first. Here is the spreadsheet of what would have happened. So at $50, there was a little under 54,000 shares available. Under $100, was only 145,000 shares available. 200, 230, about 240,000 shares. 300, about a little over 300,000 shares. At $400, there was only 363,000 shares. At $500, 418,000 shares. You get the point here. And guys, it's down to $4,000 here. Uh, over uh, 500, about 530,000 shares for each of those there. And 4,206. So let's go here. That's right, guys. This would have hit over $4,000. And we're not joking. Here is the level two data. Let's get this and let me deactivate the camera and let's blow this up. Let's examine this video. Get as big as we can here. Boom. All right, let's go back here. Here you can see the level two data and here you can see him has it in here at the $11, $15, $20, $30, $40. And you can see the shares over here, guys. If the short or, you know, hundreds of millions possibly a billion short they don't have enough shares there wasn't enough shares available as you're seeing here here was someone with fifteen thousand shares at 69 dollars down here's i think it's this uh 80 dollars here at 20 some thousand shares as you can see there Twenty-six thousand shares at 80 uh, 80 dollars and just look at these orders we're gonna get look at the hundreds here there's someone at $200 selling 49,000 shares, guys. And these are all other smaller little orders in here. You know, 400, 1,000, 300. There's a big one there. Someone at $200, almost 50,000 shares. Nice big one there. And just look at these prices. Look at these. And, you know, some of these are big numbers. 16,000 shares, 30,000 shares at $300 sell price. And just look at these numbers as it goes up here, guys. There was people having shares selling. Like here was one at like 1,700 shares at uh, $1,200. There were 8,000 shares at $1,100. We'll let it go down here. Look at this. 3,000 share, uh, over 6,000 shares at 3,000 apiece. He's zooming in on here. Look at that. Look at that zoom in. Look at that level two data there, guys. Look at this level two data. This is just amazing is what this is amazing stuff down here you can see the 3999 and there's the 4000 down there as well so here you can see it $1400 and $1420 7000 uh, shares are available there so this would have hit the circuit breakers this baby would have went to 4k a share how about they go and examine this price how about that would you consider examining this price for your, uh, you know, screw over job you did on us? How about that? Take these prices and the volume, and that's where the negotiations should start. But we're not going to start at the last closing price. Heck no. It should at least start at the $9, $10, 12 range before they shorted it down to death and didn't let it hit those last two days of trading when this baby would have went to the freaking moon and the proof is right there in the pudding. And it would have went, there wouldn't have been more, this thing would have been setting at $4,000 like, a share. And there wasn't enough to close out the short position, guys. There, there just wasn't enough. If there's even 200 million counterfeit, counterfeit shares, there just wasn't enough. There was only like 5 million shares available on the market to buy. And FINRA saw that and said, oh my God, we got a U3 halt that. And that's exactly what happened. This thing 
would have went to the freaking moon. So that is my thought process on this. And yeah, we cannot talk about any kind of settlement until we get the blue sheet. And let's get the numbers. And then we got to hope the blue sheets are correct. That's the other thing. Are they going to try to alter the blue sheets? Are they going to be correct? So it's going to take a little bit of time. That is all I got for you in today's video. Hope you all enjoyed. I love and appreciate every single one of you. I'm here to MMTLP 100% till this baby gets justice. We get paid. We get what's right to us. And I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to come back stronger. I'm here for you guys. Peace.